I came to the park to make a video, but I've been unable to get anyone here to be in it. What should I film instead? If you're unable to get anyone to be in your video, you could consider filming nature, such as the trees, flowers, and wildlife in the park. You could also try filming the park itself and its amenities and walking trails. Or you could film yourself and make it a vlog-style video talking about your experience trying to make the video and your thoughts on the park. Brand Park is one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. The library has beautiful architecture and awesome paintings, and there's also a bunch of beautiful hikes here. After my breakup, I came to this library with the goal of taking every single book off the shelf, opening and looking inside each one, then putting it back so that I could say I'd looked at every book in the library, but I gave up after like 15 minutes because I realized it was going to take way too long. I met my friend Avisa here, and one time my other friend Jaylene dropped her glasses in the pond. What was that? Thanks for stopping. This is interesting. Could you tell me your name one more time? Yeah, Michael. Here are a few ideas for a YouTube video you and a stranger could make at the park. Interview each other and share your personal stories or interesting facts about yourselves. Collaborate on a challenge or game and document. Sure, here's a sample script for a challenge video you can film with a stranger. The challenge is to throw and catch the frisbee as many times as possible in one minute. Are you ready? Okay. So yeah, that was fun. Thanks for asking me to participate. That was fun. Thanks for letting me participate. Maybe we can just do it one more time. Yeah. The Frisbee challenge video took 10 or 15 minutes to film, but Michael was in no rush, so he said I could make a documentary about him as well. So, uh, can you tell me your name? Michael. And can you tell me a little about yourself? Yes. Michael. Uh, I'm a professional drummer. I'm currently getting my, I just finished my AS degree as an electrical technician. I'm single. <laughs> and uh, I also box. I'm an amateur boxer. Cool. If someone came to this park, what would you tell them like your favorite spots are? The favorite spot is definitely the little, the, the view right here on, on the dam. Ooh. You just kind of just walk up right here through this little trail and you're there. Should we film there too? Sure. Cool. Do you want to tell me any of your favorite memories from the park? Yeah, I accidentally discovered that pyramid, was it the tombstone pyramid burial? By accident, before I even knew it was there, I just kept hiking and then I was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, hey, he's filming too. He's always here filming like at this hour. Oh, wait, I think I know look him. At, look at bunnies. I think I know that guy. Are you making your documentary about ravens? I did. Cool, cool. Do you remember me? Yeah. Awesome. And this is this is Michael. Hi, Hi Michael. This is uh, the male Terry. That's his uh, woman, Teresa. Wow. Yeah, I'm writing a couple of features, but okay. my heart right now is in these documentaries. That's cool. Yeah, I love uh, wildlife. So, what's something that y'all would like to talk about? Wildlife. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's something Vance loves, actually. Yeah, I do. I, I just barely figured out how to distinguish a common crow from a common raven. I saw a bobcat run across the road down by the, um, you know where the golf course is up here that's up on the hill? Yeah, well, that's uh, cool. Man. Yeah, I saw, I just quickly ran across. Any other thoughts? Uh, check out my documentary. Yes. On, uh, <laughs> Vimeo. For sure. Can you send me a link to it? I will. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah and, and then forward the link to me too as yes. well. Yes, okay, yeah. cool, because now I have both of y'all's info. Meet Terry on the left and Teresa on the right. This is a mated pair of ravens that I've been watching for several years. This is where Terry and Teresa live. They have claimed about five acres in the Verdugo Mountains, which includes a park, a pond, and several trees. Have a good day. Yeah, enjoy. See ya. Thanks, Vance. All the time when I come up here and uh, I'm do my little hike, he's, he's here. If you saw him next time, will you say hello, probably? Absolutely. Cool. Because y'all both love wildlife. And yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's a cool hobby, man. I kind of always wanted to do that, film wildlife. Yeah, this spot is awesome. Yeah, this is where it all happens. This is where it
if you're if you naturally have a lot of high energy you're gonna attract all the energy vampires that want your energy yeah because they don't have it because they're fucking suck at life do you just come here to forget it though yeah hell yeah i mean it's easy to say but hard to do because your brain your brain is like is kind of hardwired sometimes to be a certain way and to think certain things it wants to be in control and then free to, to get in control of your brain it's going to fight back at you so then so that takes a lot of practice how to control your brain because uh it wants to be in charge right yeah <laughs> have you used ai no never would you of course is there any question you would want to ask the ai yeah okay what? uh what do you suggest i i do with my career as an electrician okay so i've asked as an ai i don't have personal experience in the field of electrical work but here are a few suggestions for your career as an electrician consider obtaining additional certifications or licenses to expand the types of projects you can work on stay up to date with new technologies and industry developments to remain competitive consider starting your own business if you have the knowledge skills and resources to do so it's also important to note that depending on your location and the current job market the demand for electricians may vary do you have any follow-up question <laughs> that's what i thought that's what i thought it would have done sure how about this one? What do women want in men? <laughs> what do women want? Or just what, they, what, what, what do they want, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I accidentally typed Y, but I think it will understand. Women, like men, seek relationships okay, for a variety of reasons, such as companionship, emotional uh -huh. support, women love, like men and intimacy. Seek relationships for a variety Some may of also reasons, want to start blah, blah, blah. a family, while others may blah, simply blah, blah, want intimacy. someone to Some share their life with. Some may also want to start a family. Everyone's motivations for seeking, seeking a relationship are unique and they change all the match. Okay, where to now? Let's go, let's go to the pyramid of manipulation. <laughs> and they have a, they always change what they want. I think, so th this is where I sat, like right up there. And then I was just looking out at the beautiful sunset. Cool. And I was just having a peaceful thoughts about my breakup. And yeah. that's when I wrote the last chapter of my ice cream book. A few years ago, after finally having a closure sort of experience with my ex, I went for a beautiful hike at this park. And when I finished the hike, I wrote the last chapter of my second book. Do you watch YouTube? I watch, yeah, I'll watch YouTube. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, like right now, of course, Joe Rogan has a lot of interesting stuff on. Okay, because he's like, his mainly his podcast. He yeah, his podcast, is, he's got interesting characters. But I also follow a lot of stuff with Sasquatch in it, you know? Oh, cool. So, Do you believe in him? So it's not a matter of belief. It's a matter of knowing by, by deduction reasoning. It's just a species of something that still lives out there in the forest that's a very intelligent being. When did you first research him and start to Well, you know, the, the, the classic Patterson footage. Paddy footage, they call no. it. The one up there in Bluff Creek. Uh -uh. Uh, and then when I, I got into animation as an artist, I, I started studying like the biomechanics of a human and, and how they walk and how, do, how you construct them from the skeleton first. And then, then you, you, put it in, you animate them a certain way. So however the skeleton is gonna- Oh, there's the pyramid. You built that yeah, right there. Well, you know, you, a human knows what another human is regardless. It's just naturally, we know that by instinct. But there it is. There's so, Mr. Brand. What is that? That is the tomb, the burial tomb of, of, of we could go further up over here. Look on the side. The guy who made this park? Yeah, the, that's Brand, Mr. Brand. He was uh, like uh, one of the first developers of, of this area, I believe. So. Uh. And then his family just gave away the house to turn into a library? Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Look, look at all the people buried here. It's amazing. Rest in peace, gentlemen. Wow. Is it disrespectful to film this? <sighs> well, if you, if you get attacked by a ghost right now... Have you ever had a ghost encounter? Fuck yeah. What? What was it? It was actually at, at, at another park not too far from here. Whoa, what Very, happened? very recently. What happened? So, so, so uh, I needed to use the restroom 
And I was, I was walking towards the restroom and I see an old person, like an old man, go, go, go like into the restroom, was walking kind of in front of me and then walked in. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll have some company over there. I, hope, I was hoping he wasn't using the shitter because I had to take a shit. So I go into the restroom and I'm like, there's nobody in there. And I look, I look in the toilet and there's nobody there. I'm like, oh, fuck, I just saw a ghost. An old gray old man, you know? So it wasn't scary? Uh, like I, when, I, when I realized that uh, what I just saw was a ghost, I gave him the creeps, of course. I was like, ugh. He's still hanging around at the fucking park, man. The existence of uh, ghosts is a topic of debate and there is no scientific evidence to support it. their existence. Many people believe in ghosts based on personal experiences or cultural beliefs. Ultimately, whether or not ghosts are real is a matter of personal belief. So it's a matter of personal belief, it says. But there's, there's factual proof that they exist. I, I don't believe it because videos, it, there's image images. It makes me too scared to believe it. Okay. <laughs> no biggie. How long were you with your ex-girlfriend, man? Uh, for like a year, or like nine months or a year. But I, we, I felt very in love, so it was pretty pretty hard breakup. I see. What about you? <laughs> ah, fuck. Do you yeah. want to um? meet someone and like get married or is that not one of your goals i mean like i said i'm i'm, I'm going with the flow of course cool. i mean being you know having a, having a partner being in like a team like that is always cool yeah but with that comes a lot of responsibility as well so. true it's it's a little easier to be single i think sometimes but it's... for someone that's really outgoing has a lot on his plate being single is the best man What's a particularly memorable experience you've had in your life? Uh, my first tour in Europe. Whoa. That was really cool. cool. I remember that. It was pretty, pretty like amazing. Very refreshing. Uh, was that recent or a while ago? Or? Oh, that, yeah, that was, that was like 2005. Wow, awesome. Yeah, without us. With your band? Yeah, my band. And uh, it, uh, it was definitely in awe of Europe, man. And just the way everything's run over there and how you can treat it as an artist. What's something that you think about most frequently? Most frequently? <sighs> Finances. True, money is very stressful. Yep. Finances, but then uh, I think a lot about music. And cool. Like, like different approaches and how to execute certain types of concepts musically. This is where we met. Well, yeah. Nice night. Thanks so much for stopping and hanging out with me. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, that was quite the experience. <laughs> yes. Any other, any last thoughts? Should I ask you any last thoughts for today? The last thoughts for the day, huh? Just to be kind to yourself and others, man, of course. True. Good message. Unless they, they mean you harm, then fuck them up. Oh, wow. Any message? That's true. Any message to the viewers? Yeah, man. Big Daddy loves you. Any co message about like com leave a comment or anything, yeah. or check out your music? No. That's okay. It. Cool. Sorry.